1977, Rodney Mullen won the first freestyle contest he entered. Reigning world champion freestyle skateboarder since 1980. He has competed all over the world, and tonight he's here on our stage to demonstrate some of his truly incredible skateboarding skills. So please welcome skateboarder extraordinaire, Rodney Mullen. Rodney Mullen started skating when he was only 10, inventing tricks and experimenting with his skateboard. Hey, go. go ahead. Uh, Rodney Mullen impacted my life, changed me and Mullen to a skateboarder, and uh, the way he impacted skateboarding was really cool because I think we, before then we didn't know what we were doing with our life. We were just a bunch of kids running town, running around, playing in the playground. Basically, Rodney Mullen uh, in skateboarding back in the 80s changed the game completely. Uh, he was a freestyle skater back then, is what they called it. And uh, he adapted all his own tricks, he brought in all the flip tricks, everything like that. Back in the 80s, pretty plain and basic. There wasn't all the big heavy boards and uh, he influenced the skateboard. He brought in his own style of board as being the freestyle board, which is now these days boards. It's the same thing, it's converted over to Rodney Mullen style. Uh, used to be big bulky boards, but he got rid of all that, brought in all his own tricks, basically influenced everything in skateboarding. He, he changed it completely whenever it switched from freestyle to mainstream skating. The stuff he was doing is now mainstream. He is the innovator of probably 90% of the tricks that go on. In 1980, Rodney Mullen turned pro. Change people's thoughts on skateboarding. Of course. Like nobody thought that they could flip their board. Nobody thought that they could do any of that. That's your thoughts. Without Rodney Mullen, do you think skating would be the same, and why? Um, without Rodney Mullen, skating wouldn't be the same. Because more and more people are getting the idea of a freestyle. He basically brought it back. Because no one would ever do it. And I guess he just wanted to do something different. I'm in. I grew up watching his videos. Um, I, I grew up doing his tricks, or well, trying to do the tricks he does. So, yeah, he's had a great impact on my skateboarding. In 2002, Rodney Mullen created Almost Skateboarding Company. Rodney Mullen, man, he just changed the whole landscape. You know, he came in with these all these different board shapes. He started flipping his board, and people were just like, what is that? How do you do that? Uh, no. I think it'd be like a different style. Like, there'd be, there'd, like things would be totally different. So, everything he's done has significantly changed the way things would be had he not been born. Crazy boy, you're crazy. Shake him down, back. As my influence for Rodney Mullen, uh, he 
changed it completely because when I started out it was in the 80s and skateboarding was completely different. When I saw him, I saw what was going on. It was something that blew my mind, blew everybody in skateboarding's mind to see that he took it to another level. It wasn't just like cruising around and jumping around. He was actually flipping the board, flying off of things. So uh, it definitely brought my skating a whole new outlook to like looking at the pros just riding half pipes to actually street skating. Rodney Mullen was the first skateboarder to do an ollie on the flat ground. And uh, that kind of, that was it. That changed the world. When skateboards came out probably in the late 60s, 70s, it was like a small thing on the, the West Coast that kind of just blew up and kind of hit the nation. I know like maybe in the late 70s and early 80s, uh, something hit like on uh, NBC Wild World of Sports or something like that and uh, just basically brought it out into the mainstream and spread it out across the country. After that, it just changed the game and you got these boards that look like they do now. You see these tricks? All these tricks that you see right now, that's just because of Rod. Home Rod. That's a Rodney Mullen tribute. He wrote you said that. And that if you think if you pick out the words, that means two unities connecting. And that's that skateboards, that means skateboarders and people uniting as a culture. That's what Rodney affected.